In this video, I would like to give you a brief information about how to get clear text password from Windows systems. To understand it, let's review authentication process on the simplified diagram. We are already familiar with the local security authority system, which is responsible for the whole process. But there are also different security packages, which are used to support different types of authentication. For example, MSV is used for NTLM authentication. WDigest is used for HTTP authentication over the network. Because all these types support different methods of authentication, one NTLM hash is not enough, and it is also necessary to keep clear text password. For security reasons, clear text password is kept encrypted in special space of RAM. But this password can be easily retrieved from the memory. The whole process of password retrieving is very complex and we will not discuss it on this course. Just keep in mind that password is kept in the memory for some security packages after users log on. The password is deleted from the memory after system shutdown. This behavior is set by default on all Windows systems till Windows 8. But starting from Windows 8.1, the clear text password is not cached in the memory by default. To dump the password, you can use one of the following tools. In this course, we will try Mimikets. Windows Credential Editor works the same way like Mimikets. Now let's see how to disable password caching in the memory. It can be done in the registry. Just find this hive and change the value in use logon credentials to 1. If there is no such parameter, you can create it and set required value. As you know, on Windows 8.1 and 10, password caching is disabled, but there is one trick how to get clear text passwords. First of all, you need to have installed Backdoor to access remote system many times. Then, disable Credential Guard by removing these keys from the registry. After that, enable password caching. You can do it manually or by means of Metasploit post module. Reboot the system and wait until user logs in the system. And finally, you can run Mimikatz to retrieve the password. Now, when you have basic idea how to retrieve clear text password, let's try to do some practice. In this video, I'm going to use integrated Mimikatz in Metopreter. I already have Metopreter session, so first I need to escalate our privileges. Now, we need to load integrated Mimikatz by executing load kiwi command. Because we just loaded Mimikatz module, its additional commands are available now, and if we type help command, we will see these commands. To retrieve all passwords, just execute creds underscore all. And we have clear text passwords of local accounts. The big advantage of integrated Mimikatz is that it's loaded directly to RAM and cannot be detected by antivirus programs, which in most cases scan only saved files on hard and removable disks. As I mentioned before, it works good on Windows 7 and 8. In this video, I'm going to show another way how to get user password. It is based on phishing. On the user screen, a pop-up window will be displayed with the invitation to enter password. Many users can enter their passwords and we will immediately get them. And we don't have to escalate our privileges. Let's execute the following command. And check the options to be set. Description parameter is responsible for the text displayed on user's screen. For the process parameter, we can set a process name. When this process starts, a password window will pop up. 
And finally, for the session option, we just set the number of established metaprinter or shell session. First of all, we will set session number. I also recommend setting another parameter. Just type show advanced command. You will see advanced options. And here we are interested in timeout parameter. A pop-up window will be displayed on victim screen during this time. So, just in case, I recommend increasing this value. Now run the module. On the victim's machine the following window pops up. User can think there is nothing suspicious and types the password. At the same time, the typed password will be displayed in our Metasploit. Now I want to display this window when a user starts some program, for example Google Chrome. For the process parameter just change its value to chrome.exe and run the script. Now on the victim's machine let's run a Chrome web browser. But instead of browser we have a window with a text that Chrome process requires a user password. So let's enter the password. And again the password is displayed in our console. Instead of Chrome, I would recommend using programs which can really request user password, for example Microsoft Outlook. 